Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a raw gold farm that you can make upwards of 50k gold per hour from. Now, this isn't all in raw gold. You can make up to about 20k max raw gold and then about 20k in disenchantment materials and cloths. So, you're going to need to know a few things to actually do this farm. So we're going to be farming elemental overflow. Now this is one source of the raw gold from the farm. You'll farm up a whole heap of the overflow and then you'll come to this vendor right here and you can buy gear and then you can resell the gear straight back to the vendor for raw gold. So this is one of the ways to get the raw gold from this farm and you will farm a whole heap of the elemental overflow within an hour. Now the best thing to buy are the cloaks you can pay 200 elemental overflow and then you can resell it f the each cape for 47 gold each and you can farm a whole heap of these per hour so i just did a little test for like 15 minutes and we managed to get this many which is crazy and as you can see you sell it back straight to the same vendor and you get raw gold now the second part is going to be professions so tailoring to increase the cloth and then enchanting to do disenchanting and also to get the mythics that drop from this specialization right here so inside of the blue this will give a chance for random mythics to drop which you can actually disenchant these and they give you straight disenchantment materials and then you also want to go down to the next one right here um, that i've got 24 points in this will just give you a bit uh, better chance to get better materials when you're disenchanting so as you can see now the main item that we're after is the resonant crystal so this thing right here and this sells for about 150 gold on na and like 300 gold on eu now this is what you want spec for tailoring this will just give you extra cloth when you're killing the mobs which can help add up while you're doing this farm now this is the location and where you want to be for this farm now this works best in a group two by four so a total of eight people doing the farm making this spot hyper spawn really quickly However, you could do this in a group of just five, um, but I would recommend trying to get a group of a two by four together to actually do this farm. So this is where it is located. At this location right here, you go into the cave and in the middle of the cave, there'll be a circle area. And that is where you wanna have your monk set up a statue and pull everything to the center of the rooms. So there's rooms all the way around this and you wanna make sure when you're a puller, so if you're like, a caster class, either a hunter or a druid works the best to pull the mobs. Um, if you're either one of those, this is the this is what you'll be doing. So you'll be going up the stairs, making sure you're grabbing the mobs up here and bringing those back to the center of the room so the statue can take aggro and they can die in the middle of the room. Um, same with if you're a hunter, you want to come up here, make sure that you're hitting these guys, running back to the center of the room and then you just want to run around in a circle and you make sure that you're pulling all the mobs out of the rooms all the way around this circle area. Also, you can make sure you're doing a bit of damage. Uh, damage isn't that necessary. As you can see, we haven't got too much gear on our um, on our druid. We only have what, 289k health, so we've still got like the first season gear pretty much. But that is enough to do this. You can have better gear and you will get more kills per hour. But as a puller, your main job is to really make sure that you're just pulling the mobs out of the rooms and from the top of the stairs. Now, as you can see, we're getting straight elemental overflow from killing the mobs and looting them. We're also getting mythics. So this is a random drop chance once you have the specialization in enchanting that I showed before inside of the blue. Um, these will just drop randomly. Now they can be greens, blues, or purples. So you can get all the different sort of crystals from those. And now what else we're getting is the catch-up gear. Now the catch-up gear is very important for when you're disenchanting because what you actually do is you will learn the gear. So you click on the gear to um, see what gear piece it gives you. And then once you do that, you can actually disenchant that also. And you get a lot of radiant crystals from that. And if you specialized into the tree that I showed at the beginning, you have a chance to actually get multiple resonant crystals so you can get like up to like 500 gold say if you got like two three of them um you can get like five six hundred gold just from one of these purple drops the catch-up gear um to unlock them it needs to be on certain classes each piece 
can be unlocked by I think it's three different different um, classes. So like leather, it's got like monk, um, druid, rogue. So you want to log onto a character where you can unlock it, and then send all of those to your disenchanter, and then you want to disenchant them. Now, in the background here, this is just the PVO of a tank, and what you want to do if you're the um, monk. But getting back to it, so the next source of raw gold is that you're going to get a whole heap of the grey dragon flight gear and um, like grey and white junk items from doing this farm and you can straight up just vendor those and that is another source of raw gold from this farm. So after you've done everything you'll be cashing in your elemental overflow selling the cloaks straight back to the same vendor that you brought them from for raw gold. You'll also be selling all the junk items that you end up in your inventory like the grey and white dragonflight gear the junk gear that you get from just killing mobs you vendor that also and that is the main source of the raw gold then for the other source of gold from this farm is from enchanting and that is going to be by disenchanting the mythics that drop and also by disenchanting the catch-up gear that drops very rapidly from these guys and if you're spec in enchanting the right way you can get a whole heap of really good enchanting materials from disenchanting those and that can make up to about 30k per hour if you have a steady proper farm going now you also as you can see you're going to be getting um, rousing frost from these mobs so that is another source of gold that you'll be making from this farm and then finally is your spec into tailoring and so you will be getting extra cloths from these guys and you can sell those straight to the vendor or you can sell those on the auction house for a little bit more gold and then the final final bit of gold will be the raw gold you just pick up from these mobs and that is how this farm works if you enjoyed be sure to hit the thumbs up button and check out my gold making guide it'll be the first link down below in the description box um, until the next one guys take care